back to the rural project. So the job today, I'm going to take this box, this uh, drain pit down to the bottom of Slippery Hill. So the ditches I dug the other day, I'm going to uh, put this pit at the bottom of those ditches and then go underground with some pipe. Put some 150mm pipe there. So I'll go underground with that pipe and then put it out into the gully below. So what I'm going to do is box off this pit. So if you can imagine the, the bottom of the ditch is coming here, this is going to be going to be buried. The ditch has got sides. So I'm going to uh, box off with this timber around three sides so that we don't get the sides collapsing into the uh, into the pit. Right, let's uh, let's start cutting. I've got the three pieces, just strange that they're all 800 mil. So in the ground, these will sit like so, and this one will be sat like that. So I'll hold them in place with snap pickets, and then just um, put some screws in to fix these to the snap pickets. So let's start the process now. We're getting this down the hill. Okay, so that's what we've got at the bottom of Slipper Hill. So as you can see, the, uh, the ditch has got water flowing in it. We have had a lot of rain over the last few days. It seems to be the uh, theme of things at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue that trench along here until I get to this area. And that's where the pit is going to be. And then from there, Underground, the pipe's going to go through the middle of the wood pile there. What I'm also going to do is, from about this point, kind of up in an arc around there, I'll kind of just shave a lot of this off, make this into a bit of a flatter turning, so it's a flatter turning circle. Put a little bit of a step in the, uh, in the ground here. So I'll move some, do a cut, move some dirt that way. So when I'm coming down here, I, um, I actually have to, I can turn around here into here, and this is uh, this is actually flatter. So that turn there, when the trailer's full, or when you're reversing that that little slope, is enough to sort of throw you off a bit. So I'll just just smooth it out just a bit. But uh, I'll show you that as we uh, as we get going. Let's get the excavator fired up and get into this.
I'll basically be straight back at the camera, into the uh, trench, as deep as what I'm stood in now, and then we'll be able to feed the pipe in. Might end up having to put a bit of a bit of a bend on the pipe, or a bit of a elbow on the pipe. Let's uh, let's see how we go. So what I'm on now is digging the trench from the pit back to the valley or the gully. So um, I started at the gully and what I'm doing is, because I know the ground is generally sloping down towards the gully, and I'm, um, I'm using the depth of the bucket as a guide. So getting the roughly a full bucket depth in here and um, yeah, working my way back with the, with the view that once I get back to the back to the pit I should be roughly the right depth. First, length the pipe down, put it in place. I've got it kind of touching, touching in two spots, and I'll uh, sprinkle some some dirt around the middle there. And the plan is to sort of pack this one to roughly a meter off the end, sort of get this one placed and packed, so that when the water actually starts flowing down here, if I don't get the second one in, at least the water will flow down here and then uh, then come up to the pipe and sort of flow out. I'll try and get at least one section of pipe, otherwise I just think all this lot will turn into absolute slop once the water starts coming through. So we're looking here, here there's, you know, there's just a constant trickle of water coming down, which is exactly what I wanted out of that ditch. All that water that's coming down there is not going onto the access road, so the access road is drying out by that amount of water. But as you can see it won't be long and that'll overflow and then we'll start having water coming through here. So I want to quickly get get that one section of pipe back filled. The other section of pipe there I'll go get the glue and try and get that one put in pretty quickly as well. And then uh, we'll see how we go. tidy up on this end before we get the next uh, pipe in. Once these are together they're going nowhere. Okay, so our pit is now full, the water flowing over the sides, so it won't be long before all that fills up and starts draining into here. So pipe number two is in. I didn't bother, uh, I didn't bother, bother gluing it, and like I said, it's a bit unnecessary for what this is. Hope I don't end up regretting that, I was just thinking of the uh, retaining walls where I cut corners and ended up paying the price. I think this is going to be fine for, for what it is. If I get a tiny leak out oh, of that section of pipe just there, that's not the end of the world. Right, let's start the backfilling process for this and try and get all of this backfilled up to somewhere around here. And then uh, I think we'll be calling this project done for the day.
the day for today. Do a little bit of a tidy up before I finish, but um, that's it for me. When I come back next time, hopefully I'll have another length of pipe, a couple of elbows, and we'll, uh, we'll get that pit fitted off properly. But if it carries on raining or we get any more rain between now and then, I'll be having to leave it until it all dries out. Okay, so Hi, welcome back to the Rural Project. So we uh, finished work for the day, back down here. What I'm going to do today, I've got a section of pipe up at the car, I'll go bring that down now. I've got a couple of fittings, I've got the saw with me and tape measure, so we'll, uh, we'll get into this and hopefully we'll get this pipe uh, fitted and glued off today. Okay, so that access road has dried up a lot. Super hill, um, looks like it could do with the excavator passing over it a few times. So hopefully if I get this finished I'll get uh, up and down there with the excavator. Well it's still a little bit soft but much firmer than it was and uh, I'll try and get some of that tracks in. But for now let's, let's get on with the job at hand. finding here is the only thing I could get from the shops was a 45, um, 45 per elbow and I thought that was going to be absolutely fine. As you'll see me as I've just laid that out then, a 45 really is no good. Uh, 30 would have been much better, so I'm, but I've got a flexible coupling. So I was certainly not designed for putting 15, 20 degree angles on, but um, I'm going to see if I can make that work. I yeah, managed to fit that over the, the, the belt, we sell the female end of that pipe. Didn't think I'd be able to, but it saves me cutting it. So now let's get a length of pipe measured, cut, see if we can fit it on and get it at the right angle. Okay, what I need to do clear out a pocket there so that I can push that pipe over and feed it in square. That's the downside obviously of repacking this pipe in already. The, uh, the issue is I have no leeway with this section of pipe now, it's fixed. Um, but that's okay, we'll just grab the excavator, take out a section there and uh, get back to it. So, managed to, so I got the clamp on, managed to uh, get the pipe fitted in there. I have to try and, I'm going to have to test this now to see if I can get it at the right angle. So, obviously, what I've got to do is dig some of this soil up so I can move the pipe around. starting to get pretty sloppy now because over the weekend when I did the pit all the water's obviously run in there.
Okay, so the idea there, empty the uh, empty the pit of water, and I'm hoping I can pull the pit out, leave the shape where the pit was, put the hole in the pit, put the uh, the pit over the pipe, and feed it all back into position. So let's give that a go. See what it looks like. Try and break the suction hold. Not easy this. Blimey. Don't want to go digging it all out again. I think I'll get it. Certainly not going to hold its own shape though. So what I can do, where I've got that broken lip, put that at this side to help with the water going in. Now I will put a hole down here for this pipe and feed it in. Alright, let's get the saw out. Right, so we can get that pipe in there now. As you saw, it's hair come a lot bigger. Once this is all fitted off and it's dried off in summer, I'll uh, use some silicon sealant and just seal all that hole up. Okay, it's fitted, it's pretty loose as you can see, I'll kind of centralise it a little bit more and then put some silicon around it in summer like I said. But the job now, so we get all this backfill and try and get it solidified so it stays in place. This is this connection, it's certainly not designed for this, but um, I think I'm going to be able to get a clamp on there, hold it in place, I doubt whether it's going to come off, it's going to have tons of earth sat on top of it, be compacted in really well, so I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll do that now, get that tightened up and backfill it so it doesn't move and then start on the pit. So I certainly wouldn't recommend this, if I could get hold of a, I'm guessing like a 20 degree or something like that, 20 degree angled elbow. I would be using that for definite, but um, 
can't easily get hold of any I don't want to leave this all open and I can say I really don't see that there's going to be a big issue here if I get back filled and it won't be to plumbing code but hey this is a drainage pipe at some land so it's not for a house Right, let's get that back filled. I'll a bit of slop around it to start with. So that solidifies. Now I'll start a bit of backfill here and uh, get you to rejoin me once I've finished. in a hole.
So here we've just finished now. So obviously I've got the uh, the grate to put in there. Hopefully this will dry out over the next week or so and um, start operating properly. Try to do a bit of a smooth out in this area and uh, try to do what I can with the on the slippery hill. But it is one slippy, sloppery mess. But I've tracked up and down slippery hill a few times tonight. Uh, four times so the actual path up there is actually quite solid now quite smooth quite solid so i'm pleased with that but obviously this bottom area here because of all the digging i've been doing a lot of loose soil a lot of water has been congregating here because it's had nowhere to go so it's going to take quite a while for this soil to dry out but that's okay so back here at the land my uh my grate managed to come in, which is good, so I can get that refitted. It's a few days since I was last here, as you can see we've had some rain. Looks like it's, uh, it's been operating pretty well. I'm sure all the soil around there is still soaking wet and sloppy. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been filling and obviously hasn't filled anymore because of the overflow pipe there which allowed the water to come out. But let's get the, get the grate fitted and then we'll call this project done for a while. I'll put this this way so that the water sort of flows over the grates and not against them. Hopefully that makes sense. So hopefully that's that's done. So that's going to take months and months to settle in. But uh, it's just the way it is. It's going to take a little while. Well, let's go and have a look at the other end of the pipe. See, so I think it's safe to say we've had a fair bit of water flowing through here. So it's good, doing exactly what we uh, what we're hoping. Right, we shall call this little project done. It's another week later as you can see there's a fair amount of water running down the gully now so this is working pretty well going into the pit and uh, draining straight into the gully I'm really happy with the way this is working obviously all that soil is still really really soft um, but it's, uh, it's working just as planned I'm really happy with that Steady stream of water coming out down into the gully, feeding the neighbours dam. So I'm back here at the land. We've had uh, another torrential downpour this week. You can see there, there's still a bit of still a bit of water flowing. This torrential downpour has seriously washed some soil away. <laughs> when we get down here, my pit's under that. So my pit is buried. You can just see the pieces of wood sticking out. Oh man, oh man, there's been a lot of soil that's got washed down. Look, I suppose that's that's one of the things when you when you dig a new ditch. It uh, never has actually dried out. Uh, it's never had a chance for anything to grow in it, any grass or anything. Torrential downpour, so I better uh, get the shovel going and get this uh, get this dug out. So luckily, the actual pit, as you can see, is not full. So I actually thought it would be. I thought it, would be. I thought it was strange how this has uh, managed to fill up. I do this one-handed and get a bit of space. So the water is still flowing underneath there. So I'm pretty lucky that that pit has not filled up, otherwise that would have been an even bigger job. So I'll just get this uh, get this dirt removed. Don't 
Okay, so that's been quite easily fixed. I was pretty lucky there. There is a bit of uh, bit of mud and gravel in the in the pit itself, but not uh, not too much. We can get that out another day if we need to. But yeah, that is surprising, isn't it? How much of that gravel came down and then just settled in here and overflowed. Right, another little job done. So I shall get back now to loading the trailer.